Um, what I make of all of this is that if you are going to legitimately tell people that someone is a monster, that somebody is a dictator, that somebody is literally Adolf Hitler, if you're going to tell people that this person is a constant threat, why wouldn't somebody try to eliminate that threat? That would actually be a sensible thing for somebody to do if they believe the rhetoric that is coming out of people's mouths. Now, then if this had right happened and it was guilty, flipped, including you, Candace, Chank, you just spoke for a very let, long you time. Let Candace finish, please. Let Candace finish, please. Let Candace speak. Chank. Chank, you're going to have to learn how to control yourself. I know it's very difficult for you, but you just had a very long time to speak, and we were quiet. I promise you can do that. You need to sit on your hands, then you should do that. As I was saying, what's a piece of hope, you guys? Ah, uh, Philly. Go. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out. You are all guilty. Kind as always. Um, there's saying Oko on Israel and Trump. Okay, this is by this is P.S. Morgan on Saint Sword. This is going to be amazing. Uh, I'll love to check this video out with you guys. Let's get right to this video. Everybody has. And right now, it's Democrats pushing the narrative that Trump and only Trump is to blame for the simmering and in some cases exploding tensions in American politics. Those tensions have almost got him killed, not once but twice in just two months. Surely enough is now enough. There are many unanswered questions about Donald Trump's security. There's a very live debate about who is to blame for this dangerously febrile atmosphere and what should be done about it. There are questions too about an all-out war in the Middle East after Israel seemingly ignored the United States to launch an audacious attack on Hezbollah. 12 people are dead, including a child. Almost 3,000 were injured after pages used by Hezbollah were remotely detonated inside Lebanon. Now even more blasts are hitting Beirut, with reports of an explosion at a funeral and hundreds injured by exploding walkie-talkies. We'll discuss it all with tonight's panel. I'm joined by the host of The Candice Owens Show on Spotify and Rumble, Candice Owens, the founder and CEO of The Young Turks, Czech Yuga, and former Navy SEAL, author and founder of military contractor Blackwater, Eric Prince. Well, welcome to all of you. Um, Chick Yuga, there's a lot going on. I mean, the, the news cycle right now feels slightly insane. You know, you've got Donald Trump nearly assassinated again, twice in two months now. You've got uh, apparently Israel launching this extraordinary attack across the whole of Lebanon on thousands of Hezbollah terrorists and, of course, uh, wounding and potentially killing as well uh, civilians in the process. So there's a lot to, to unpack here. Um, what do you make of it? Okay, first of all, on Donald Trump, what do you want me to do? The guy uh, did a coup attempt. He had fake electors, not even his own electors. You have your own slate of electors. He didn't use them because they said, this is unconstitutional and illegal. You lost the election. And he said, all right, you can get in fake electors. Let's do a coup attempt here. Let's have them bum rush the Capitol. And then that'll create enough confusion that we can bring it back to the states and the Republicans will cheat for us. They even wrote it in a book. Then he said we should terminate the Constitution because he lost the election. So what do you want me to do, Pierce? The guy hates democracy. He's a dictator wannabe. So, OK, should you shoot at him? Of course not. Any action that is physical like that or violent is a surrender in the intellectual uh, field of, of debate and ideas. So it's a terrible idea, it's immoral, etc. But I'm not going to let up on Donald Trump for one second rhetorically, because he is a monster and he tried to terminate our Constitution. He tried to steal an election. I've never seen anyone so despicable in American politics. And by the way, there's another reason why I'm angry at him, because I'm a populist and he took populism and he perverted it to just turning into his own personal con. He's a, such a slimy con man. I loathe him. Everyone should vote against him. He's one of the worst people I have ever seen in politics, and I'm not going to let him terminate the Constitution or destroy this democracy. You see, what I find extraordinary, Cenk, is you haven't even given it a beat since he nearly had his brains blown out on Sunday on a golf course, which came oh, two months after... Oh, did he give a beat, after... Piers? Did he give a beat? Did he ever give a beat when he constantly talks about violence? Hey, if someone takes out somebody from with a stretcher, I'll pay the legal bills. Ha, ha, ha. Attack people. Oh, my political opponents. I'm going to jail them. I'm going to attack them. Well, to them. be clear, oh. you're, well, hang on. Hang on. To be clear, you're trying to equate him making a joke about maybe slapping or punching someone in a crowd who's abusing him with oh, someone... can I make a joke with about someone slapping taking an AK? Trump across the face? Well, hang on. Was somebody can I make actually, that joke? Was somebody can actually, I make that joke, Pierce? Well, hang on. Somebody actually shooting him on a rally stage 
and then very nearly shooting him on a golf course with an AK-47. Do you not see the difference? So, Piers, those are terrible actions. So what am I, I'm asking you a literal question. What do you want me to just go? Could you give oh, it a okay, beat? Okay, now Donald Trump's I mean, a good, check, hold check. on, let me finish the question. Check. On a let human level. Question. Donald Trump's a, a good level. guy. Donald Trump loves democracy. Donald Trump, no, Donald Trump's still the same monster he was yesterday. So I hate that people are shooting at him. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's immoral. It's wrong. Why would you I be can't surprised? Condemn it any stronger. Why would you but be I'm surprised? I'm not going to tell you that Donald Trump is a decent man. But Jake, why would you be? a grotesque human Jake, being. why would you be surprised? that people are taking drastic action. Unhinged people with unhinged brains who are listening to constant rhetoric from you people... You didn't answer the question. Well, what do you on. want me to do? You hang want on. me to uh, politically well, I'm surrender, asking, right? I'm asking you a question. Do you not consider for a moment that within 48 hours you're still saying monster, demagogue, dictator, blah, yes. blah, 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 blah. because that's for who it. he is. Yes, but this is what so is So you affecting... want me to lie? Yeah, because... Tr here's, tell me this. Because do you Jake, want me to lie? Let me finish. Let me finish. The shooter at the golf course, specifically in his recent social media posts, parroted Kamala Harris, saying that he was effectively an existential threat to democracy in America. You're doing the same. Does, does nothing no, make you pause? You're insane. Hillary Clinton's you're doing insane. the same. Trump does it 2,000 times worse. So, so, and you, so, because, and, and Pierce, so because you think he you, does so it, your, your you should do it too. Is Democrats shouldn't, your great idea is Democrats shouldn't campaign against your beloved Donald Trump because some moron, mentally unstable guy took a shot at him. Okay, or two of them did. You know what? I, I can protect Donald Trump. Ban assault weapons. That'll protect Donald Trump way more than any of, oh, the, say nice things about him now that some lunatic took some shots at him. Here, let me do, be super clear. If you're on the left, I know the right-wingers love their guns and Second Amendment remedy, and they've been riled up to do violence nonstop. But if you're on the left and you do any violence, you are not one of us. You're a stupid person who does nothing but uh, make a, a worthy cause look immoral with your insanity. Never do violence. Is that clear enough? Or maybe, maybe, when they constantly hear on the airways, people like you and Hillary Clinton and others constantly depicting Trump as an existential okay, threat to democracy guilty, in America. Piers, you're maybe, totally maybe, guilty. Maybe, you're guilty. Maybe, you're guilty. Because you support Donald Trump. Maybe and Donald is, Trump but, has done 2,000 times worse, maybe, and you know it. You maybe, won't even run it on this show. Okay. You won't even run it on this show because Donald Trump, what he says is so much worse than anything a Democrat has ever said about him. So you won't even run it on this show. So that's it. Are you telling Donald Trump, you better shut up? You better not say any of those gross things that you always say. You know that he joked about smashing Nancy Pelosi's husband's head in with a hammer. Yeah, and the truth One is, One of his Jane, lunatic fans Jane, tried to murder Nancy Pelosi's yeah, husband, and, and, and he's like, ha, ha, it's so funny. Here's Do the you problem. know that when they tried to murder his vice president, Here's the problem, he then Jane. turned around and said he deserved it. Here's he's the a problem. Psych, he's a psycho. Here's and the you problem. defend him every day, Pierce. Here's the problem. You have no idea what I've said about Trump when he's done these things. If you had, you wouldn't accuse me of not talking about them because so are you I always do. To shut up? Because I always do. Are you telling me to in, shut up? I want to bring in Candace Owens here. Candace, look, we're 48 hours after the latest assassination attempt, and I'm listening to another liberal who I respect, I've had Schenk on a lot on the show, absolutely losing his mind about how despicable Donald Trump is and what a threat he is and a danger and so on and so on. Exactly the kind of rhetoric that Trump has said he believes is fueling these people to try and kill him. What do you what do you make of where we are with this? Um, what I make of all of this is that if you are going to legitimately tell people that someone is a monster, that somebody is a dictator, that somebody is literally Adolf Hitler, if you're going to tell people that this person is a constant threat, why wouldn't somebody try to eliminate that threat? Thank you. That would actually be a sensible thing for somebody to do if they believe the rhetoric that is coming out of people's mouths. Now, then if all this the had right happened and it was guilty, flipped, including you, Candace, Chank, you just spoke for guilty. a very then, long you've time. You've done ten thousand times worse than you know. Control speak. yourself, Chank. You're going to have to learn how to control yourself. I know it's very difficult for you, but you just had a very long time to speak, and we were quiet. I promise you can do that. You need to sit on your hands, then you should do Woo. that. As I was saying, if this situation had been reversed and I had just watched somebody try to shoot Kamala Harris, I would be definitively saying how wrong it was. I would be saying to people that despite the fact that I do not want her to be president, 
Of course, she is not so much of a threat that she needs to be shot. They don't stop this rhetoric because they do not want these assassination attempts to stop on Donald Trump. And I want to be very clear, the circumstance that we find ourselves in in the West is one of remarkable privilege. And when you're in times of remarkable privilege, it creates a, a, actually an issue of having a lot of weak men, right? Right. Weak men are the ones that are going out here <laughs> like proclaiming Trump. that Donald Trump is a threat, complain, proclaiming that Donald Trump is somebody that is a dictator because they've never had real conflict in their lives. And you're about to see that uh, example that was right a now, the difference in the demeanor between someone like Cenk and Eric Prince, who I greatly respect and who is somebody who has seen real conflict and understands what real threat is, right? He understands real threat. Cenk is somebody that grew up, obviously, with a silver spoon in his mouth. He's never had to fight for anything in his life and has never had to put his life before somebody else's. So it's very easy for him to behave like this, to behave demonstrably like a like a toddler who is throwing his toys out of the pram when he doesn't get what he wants. And so he he heightens his rhetoric and says, why am I not getting what I want? This man's a dictator. This man's a threat. And he's not being realistic. And it's it's embarrassing to our country, whether it was it. a person on the you right or the left. You guys haven't addressed it at who, all. Uh, Chank, Chank, I promise you are capable he of He wants to terminate the Constitution, so you like that? As somebody else speaks. Let me bring in Eric. Eric, you are a former Navy SEAL. Um, and a patient. And a very patient former Navy SEAL, yes. Um, you know, I, when I look at what's happened here, th there are lots of strands to what's going on. And we'll come to the security aspect around Trump, which I find pretty scary, actually, that twice people have, with extraordinary ease, <laughs> got into positions to assassinate him in the space of eight weeks, which I just find quite remarkable and shocking and shameful and a disgrace that the Secret Service has allowed that to happen. But before we get to that, this whole... They saved his life. Yeah, well, they didn't save his life. They put him in a position where his life nearly got taken. Uh, that's the truth. I mean, because they didn't even the check... The guy didn't perimeter. even get off a shot they didn't and even check, spreading conspiracy They didn't theories. even check the perimeter of the golf course before he was exposed for four hours on that course eight weeks after he was shot. It is unbelievable off shot. that anyone from Thank the Secret, Secret Service, Service would claim Donald anything Trump. but a dismal failure of their preparation to protect the president, in my opinion. But we'll come to that. Eric, what, what do you make of this debate, which is raging right now, on, on, in this debate now, about the rhetoric and the responsibility of people who are on the airwaves, who are in public life, to dial down the rhetoric? Look, like the video clip you opened with, there's an enormous amount of apocalyptic language spoken by the left, call it, saying he must be eliminated, he is Hitler, and that unleashes every left-wing crazy to authenticate themselves by saying, I'm going to be the hero. This guy, this Ruth guy on Sunday, who is there for 12 hours stalking Donald Trump, with a high-powered rifle with a scope, with ballistic plates up against the fence. And what did he have up there? A GoPro. Why? He was trophy hunting. He wanted to be the savior of the left to say, I'm the one that killed Donald J. Trump. Mm. Trophy hunting, Sank, for people like you responding mm. to words that you're putting out there. Why else would he have a GoPro? No, no, he wanted to get famous. You're totally right about that, Eric. Uh, so, And I hate that. Uh, but the, the way that this whole thing has been framed as if the right wing doesn't do rhetoric that is 10,000 times more dangerous and violent over and over again. Trump's fans sent pipe bombs to every one of his enemies. Trump fans hit Nancy Pelosi's husband in the head with a hammer. And Trump never even denounced it. How sick is that? That he never even denounced it. He laughs about it. So if we were using the okay. Trump standard, we'd laugh about him getting shot at. But I'm not as disgusting as Donald Trump is. Nancy Pelosi's husband had an interlude with some bizarre gay lover. That had, that, oh, that, trust me, that he, was right. he wasn't on the right. Oh my God, I'm on he here with on lunatics. Right. I'm on here with lunatics and he, he conspiracy wasn't on the theorists. Right. I where can't he believe lived, he just he, said he that. Lived, and you're LGBT saying that the guy who smashed Paul Pelosi's head in house. wasn't on the right? Is that what Candace Owens, the no, lunatic, just said? Okay, just so you know, curious, if you're going to call somebody with, else a lunatic, I mean, these right you shouldn't be behaving all like nuts. one in the process. When you say, but Cheng, 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 when you say these right wingers are all nuts, do you understand the irony? Given you just spent the last ten minutes literally ranting. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do, uh, uh, Pierce. So I am loud and aggressive because that's what the Democrats and the left wing need to stand up to lunatic bullies like this. Candace Owens just said that the attacker of Paul Pelosi was not a right winger when he is a Donald Trump fan and a deep right winger. And Eric Prince, the lunatic, had uh, said that he was a gay lover of Paul Pelosi, a conspiracy theory so unhinged that I, I, how am I supposed okay. to respond to it? You can't have a rational discussion with people who don't believe in facts and logic. Piers, are you agreeing with these two lunatics that he was not a right winger? You should have a little and that bit he was more some respect sort of gay than to refer to Eric, Eric Prince as a lunatic. He served our country. You should yes. have a little more respect and decency. Yeah, no, he's a mercenary a and a disgusting guy, by the way. How many people got, did you, you get you killed? Just... Uh, innocent people in Iraq, Eric. How many people did you have mowed down in Iraq, Eric? Thank, you know, going back to your topic, Pierce, um, perhaps it's time to bring back 19th century behavior, which maybe we had a more civil society then. If people are going to throw all kinds of bombastic language, they do so because they do it without consequence. In the 19th century in the UK, people would call them out for a duel. It doesn't have to be to the death. It could be swords. It could be pugil sticks. Maybe that would make for a more polite society. I don't know. I'm ready to go there. You see that? Piers, you see that? Who is the first to threaten violence? Of course, Eric from the right wing. Yeah, but, Whereas okay, I but, denounce but Cheng, violence. Cheng. I denounce it strongly and loudly. And but you Cheng, heard it with Cheng, your own but Cheng, ears. But Cheng, what I don't think you appreciate is how ranting incendiary rhetoric of the kind you've unleashed so far in this debate yourself can, with an impressionable, unhinged person, who believes everything you're saying about Trump, as Candace said, why wouldn't that person think to themselves, yeah, we've got to get rid of him, we've got to stop him? OK. So my question so for you is, if you can't even dial it down within 48 hours of a second assassination attempt on Trump's life, when can you? So, Piers, now let's have an intelligent conversation. Uh, hold on. About where are the lines? Where are the lines? So, can wait, he asked me a question. Where are the lines? So, when you say, when Trump says these incendiary things that are, that uh, encourage violence, including laughing at smashing the head in of a political opponent's husband, that that's what? Is that fine? Or he's bad too? Well, is How it fine? long does he have to pause is it saying fine? violent things? Listen, I've criticized Trump for lots of his incendiary language over the years. But as far okay. as I So, how long hang does, on, should he hang stop? Hang on. So far as I know, he's ever called one of his opponents Adolf Hitler, and yet the left constantly... Yeah, he did. Constantly... He just called, I don't know about Hitler, but constantly, first of all... But, Pierce, but the you left, make it look like... Cenk, here's my point. If the left constantly say, as they do, he's the new Hitler, who, by the way, murdered 12 million people with his Nazis, including 6 million Jews in a Holocaust, if you keep, keep saying that often enough, as the left do in America, eventually an unhinged mind is going to think, I've got to stop the new Hitler. That's my point. So, so first of all, I've never called him Hitler. But I love Sandra Day O'Connor's uh, quote about, uh, it was about Bush and Cheney at the time, uh, about fascism. She said, we've got to uh, be careful of these beginnings so that we don't get those endings. So what I'm worried about is a guy who says that he loves dictators and writes love letters to them, and that he loves it when everybody has to stand up and applaud and no one can, uh, can disagree with the leader of the country. He loves it. He thought we should terminate the Constitution. When they said to him, hey, they're trying to murder, your fans are trying to murder your own vice president. He told Mark Meadows, his chief of staff, he deserves it. I have to tell people the reality about Donald Trump. So, Piers, what do you want me to do? That take a 48-hour break, a 72-hour break? Or maybe do you want me to take a month and a half of a break of criticizing Donald Trump well, you know, so it was he can win the election? It was interesting watching Tank, CNN, Tank, it, watching CNN a yesterday, my old network, radical. for example, where CNN finally conceded on air that actually when Kamala Harris repeated this trope about Trump that he called for a... They said there would be a bloodbath if he lost the election. Uh, everyone knows that's untrue. That's not what he yeah. said. He talked about a bloodbath in the automobile industry. CNN finally You're admitted, totally that, right. admitted that on air. But Kamala Harris repeated that in a way that implied he said there would be a literal bloodbath. So when it comes to rhetoric, yes, Donald Trump, has a lot of incendiary things that come out of his mouth, and I wish he didn't. But so does the left, Cheng, and your utter no. refusal to accept that you anyone know, I'm on not the left refusing it. can be Pierce, even remotely be responsible for creating an atmosphere where two people now try to kill Trump, I think is very disingenuous. No, no, Pierce, let me be clear. So, number one, on the bloodbath comment, 
on the day of and ever since, we played the whole clip on the Young Turks and told everybody he did not mean violence. He talked about an economic so bloodbath. So why did Kamala Harris we were pretend honest that he about did? it. We've never called him Hitler. And, and so, but Piers, I can't sit here and not tell you that he- Shen Kuei Tse, he does not see the thoughts that the words they use against Donald Trump is leading to more assassination. Because when they keep on calling Donald Trump dictator, keep on calling him um, Hitler, keep on, keep on using that he, he wants blood baths in America, it's, it's make people, unhinged-minded people to come out to come and assassinate Donald Trump. It's as simple as that. Two assassination guys in two months. That, that that's a lot. That was a lot, guys. Two assassination in two months. It's crazy. Just on one man. Then he's the most wanted man in America, then. <laughs> if you ask me. Donald Trump is the most wanted man. Because if you can have two assassinations in, in two months, it's crazy. A former president of America, guys. This is a former president of America. A former president of America that people want to kill like this. Because some people want to feel like they're the hero, they're the one that took out Donald Trump. He's a great man. Donald Trump is a, is, is a great man, if you ask. Every single time, I'm rooting for him. I know that some foul language he used that he should not have used Donald Trump. But Donald Trump never wished anyone dead. Neither have he ever want a chaotic or bad um, rally or protest is, is against all that. Donald Trump is a peacemaker, if you ask me. During his tenure, you notice there was literally no war. He always wants to resolve every single issue. During Donald Trump era, he was a peacemaker. If you check out what happened, if, if, if you observe Donald Trump, if you observe Donald Trump era and Joe Biden era, you will notice America have gone more worse and more bad. And the war in the world population, the war in the world right now, have increased drastically. Why? There is no more peacemaker. Ukraine and Russia. You have war in Gaza. Hamas and um, Israel fighting war. Even in Beirut, right now, Lebanon, there was a, there was a bomb blast in Lebanon. It's crazy. A lot of things are happening, guys. A lot of chaos, a lot of issues. It's, it's, it's really, really bad. And this Shen right here, you can't be two people, three people can't be against only you. That means there's something you are saying that is wrong. Candace Owens, Eric, Pierce, they are all against you. Means you are saying something that is bad and you are using a loud voice to keep on saying that, to overshadow that voice. And what you're saying is, it's still bad. Because Donald Trump used some foul language, truth be told, there's some words Donald Trump say that it's crazy. You'd be like, oh, you shouldn't have said that. Does not mean you should act the same way. Does not mean you should, you should call him Hitler. Does not mean you should call him um, dictator. I'm rooting for Donald Trump and let's see, November 5th, we'll see who becomes the winner or who, who finally wins the election because I know that's it's going to be Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm fully, fully written for him. I know it's going to be Donald Trump. This was amazing. Um, he, he, Shank just respects for Eric right here. Got me pissed because this man right here have saved the country in all ways possible. He has risked his life several times for the country. You can talk some far ways to Candace Owens, but not to Eric. <laughs> this man... He's, he's, a, he's a former military person. You shouldn't use such hurtful word for you calling him. What is the word Shank called him again? Um, lunatics. Shank right here is at the wrong. And he's saying so. So wait, he's not accepting the fact that two assassination attempts is not a coincidence. There's something that is struggling people to go assassinate Donald Trump. And if you keep using such words against Donald Trump, Someone else can pick up a rifle and want to kill Donald Trump again. 
So you have to be careful of the words you are using against Donald Trump. So this entire video was amazing to watch. I love how Carlos always I try to destroy him and sit him down and tell him what he's doing is wrong and put him in his place. This was actually pure humiliation, if you ask me. Uh, comment down below think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe.